Welcome everybody to another installment of Casual Clicks Hero Clicks Figure Ratings, this time featuring another figure from the Justice League Unlimited set in Dr. Ray Palmer, also known as The Atom. The Atom had two very important episodes in the Justice League Unlimited series. The first one was called The Return, featuring him, Lex Luthor, and Amazo, some of the more main some of the main characters of that particular episode. And the other one uh, was actually the 10th episode of the first season of Justice League Unlimited called Dark Heart, which incidentally, it appears that this figure is based off of that episode considering it's a significant appearance, Dark Heart on his card. Uh, so that's the episode that we'll focus on. And not only focus on, I, I also do want to say that this particular episode is probably one of the more important episodes in the entire series because it sets up uh, it sets up a lot of plots for the future episodes. And again, this episode was Dark Heart, 10th episode of the first season for Justice League Unlimited. And uh, it was written by Warren Ellis and uh, directed by Dan Reba. In this particular episode, this nanotechnology... This nanotech technology, or is it nanotechnology, whatever the correct term is, uh, appears to be some sort of machine that was either left there or, you know, carried over from an alien invasion. Uh, and it got sent there, of course, to take over the planet. Justice League tries to figure a way out to stop it because this particular nanotechnology can rebuild itself off of anything. Uh, so it's kind of like an unstoppable killing machine. They realize that they need an expert in nanotechnology. Enter the Atom himself, Dr. Ray Palmer and his expertise in nanotechnology, of course, because he can shrink himself, right? He works with nanotechnology uh, to be able to get his powers and shrink to the sizes that he does. Um, through, I won't spoil the ending of the episode. It's a very creative way to actually to stop this machine that the Atom figures out. How to stop it uh, he does play a very huge role in this episode because he's the one that actually stops the machine i won't say how because that's actually a uh, pretty a pretty important part of the episode don't want to spoil that for you um, i'm saying that this is actually an important episode in the entire series itself because this is the first episode where the justice league reveals that the watchtower has that orbital cannon and uh, of course the first appearance of general wade eiling as well and you kind of see them you kind of see him confront the Justice League at the end of the episode, how he doesn't like the fact that the Justice League has this orbiting tower, uh, a cannon of doom that can essentially wipe out uh, just kind of like a, an atomic bomb, right? Just kind of like a bomb. So let's move on to the figure ratings. Starting with point cost efficiency, the Atom is listed as being at 40 points. At 40 points, of course, gives him the ability to squeeze into a lot of teams. For those 40 points, you do get two clicks of Perplex and Outwit, which it, that in itself kind of seals the deal into making the Atom a very playable figure in a Justice League team. Those are two of the better support powers that he has access to for 40 points. Uh, he's hard to target because he has stealth. Uh, he brings a lot to the table for his 40 points. So this one was kind of a no-brainer to me, the point cost efficiency and the easy five. Going on to potential damage. For this one, I struggled to, to I couldn't decide between a two or a three because uh, really the Atom only has Outwit, which is good enough to remove defenses, but at two damage, not really putting out that much damage. You can increase it with Perplex, but sometimes, you know, with Perplex, you want to increase his attack as well. Uh, so that's still not great damage output for him. So I was considering a two, but I ended up actually settling on three because of his, uh, because of the fact that he has stealth. The way I see stealth working on the Atom here in particular is that it's going to keep him alive longer. It's going to keep him on the map longer, let him to actually be able to do some damage uh, because he might easily get overlooked seeing as how he's a 40 point character. But like I mentioned, with Outwit and Perplex, he can actually get some damage through. With Stealth and being tiny, um, I think that just adds to kind of his survivability to let him stay on the map longer to hopefully deal a little bit more damage than he would normally be able to do. And so I settle with a three instead of a two for potential damage. Uh, going on to utility, this was another no brainer for me. Five, I said that in the beginning that uh, the Atom here 
for 40 points, he brings a lot to the table. He has that Justice League Unlimited uh, trait that a lot of Justice League characters got from the Justice League Unlimited set. The White Dwarf Star Belt, which is a free action. You choose an adjacent character with a regular Starburst symbol, uh, the damage symbol, I'm sorry. Uh, until your next turn, the chosen character has a tiny damage symbol if they are adjacent to the Atom. Uh, it just kind of gives you some extra options, some extra combos to build off of that, uh, that I'm sure you can find within the Justice League, seeing as how, you know, that's the name keyword that he has. I'm sure you can find some potential combos there with that particular power. Uh, riding along undetected, again, another great power that I mentioned that he has stealth, but it also gives him leap climb, which lets him position a little bit better. On top of that, the riding along undetected power, when he's adjacent to a character that's given a move or a power action, after resolutions, you may place the atom adjacent to that character, meaning that he can follow along, even if it's an enemy character, it's kind of like he's sneaking along undetected, of course, hanging on to their clothing or whatever as the atom. Uh, great flavor for that particular power right there. And the expert scientist perplexing out wits, like I mentioned, just a plethora of things that he can do for the 40 points that you pay for. Uh, easy five. Keywords, uh, this one, I had to leave him at a three, sadly, because he only comes with one named keyword, Justice League. Don't get me wrong, Justice League, of course, has tons of options available. Looking here on HC Realms advanced search feature, uh, choosing just as Justice League keyword to see how many options you have. Assuming, of course, that you have access to a lot of these hero clicks figures, uh, you get over 442 results. I'm sorry, you get 442 results for the Justice League. Uh, this of course includes some a, a lot of the older figures and whatnot however you know I, I have been playing for over 15 years so my collection has amassed quite an amount of justice league so that does give me and i'm sure maybe a lot of you out there as well a lot of options to team build with the atom seeing as how he's only 40 points um, and has the justice league keyword uh, however being stuck with that only one that one keyword means that i can only play him in the Justice League keyword, if, uh, you know, I don't want to break theme teams and I usually only like to play name theme teams anyway. Uh, so I gave him a three, four keywords. Special powers and traits. Uh, this is, t I think this is really tied into utility um, because, you know, utility, like I mentioned, he just, he can do so much. Uh, the special powers and traits that he gets, the Justice League Unlimited trait, I think is really good. The White uh, Dwarf Star Belt, I think, gives you access to a lot of game-breaking combos. Uh, the Riding Along Undetected Special Power is very flavorful. It's uh, two great powers that keep him alive or get him into position quicker. And of course, Expert Scientist, you can't go wrong with a special power that gives you two of the better powers in the game, uh, Perplex and Outwit. Uh, so easy five for special powers and traits uh, on his regard. Going on to movement. Movement, Leap Climb of course helped a lot, but as you can see, he only has it for his first three clicks and the last click he only has stealth. And you know, being tiny, having only a seven movement that won't get him far, uh, won't get him far. Uh, you know, he can of course hitch a ride being tiny sized. Uh, so he didn't lose too many points on that. And I actually rated him a four. Uh, may reconsider and give him a five because like I mentioned, he is still tiny, meaning that even though in this last click he is hindered that he loses his special power leap climb um, and his special power, you know, riding along undetected. Um, it's easily negated because he's tiny, meaning that he can be carried so he can still be uh, somewhat mobile. So I may reconsider later and give him a five uh, if I ever do, uh, when I ever uh, get to the top 10 series here for the Justice League Unlimited series. Uh, but for now, we'll stick to a four. If you can convince me to change it to a five, I can definitely change it to a five. Uh, you got to convince me, though. And the last one, survivability. Uh, similar to the movement where, you, you know, he has that special power riding along undetected. I think that's crucial to him staying alive. Uh, however, he does have stealth at the end, so he doesn't lose stealth throughout his dial, uh, which is great, which is helps with his survivability. Uh, starting 19 defense on top of being tiny, so meaning that if you want to hit him with a ring, so if someone has improved targeting, can ignore him during terrain. To see him hiding in that bush to negate his stealth, he still gets plus one to his defense. If it's a range attack because of his 19 defense and tiny size, brings it up to 20, um, you know, throughout his dial. But he's only four clicks on top of that too. 
So even though he does have super senses all throughout, uh, he has stealth all throughout. I still couldn't give him the five because he's only four clicks. Uh, one good hit by a top dial, you know, bruiser is can easily knock him out. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't give him a five. Maybe if he had five clicks, of course, but I'm very sure, very likely I would have given him six, uh, five stars if he had six clicks, but sitting at four, I'll give him a four for survivability. This brings his total figure rating to 8.29 for the Atom. That's great. That's a great score for the Atom. Great figure if you haven't had a chance to play him yet. Uh, if there are some ratings that you disagree with, please let me know in the comments below. Because like I said, this is not set in stone. Any of these ratings that I give him today may be subject to change depending on, you know, how the game shapes, uh, shapes itself throughout the future. But for now, 8.29. Let me know what you think. If you have some interesting com team combinations with the Atom featuring his riding along undetected uh, special power or his White Dwarf Star Belt special power or trait, I'm sorry. Uh, please share those team builds below. Uh, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or Instagram as well. If you'd like to discuss team builds or anything else regarding any of the figures that you've seen featured here on any of my videos. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Remember that these videos are possible because of viewers like you liking and subscribing to my channel and liking my videos, of course. Uh, so please continue to do so. Any shares are greatly appreciated. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for watching.